Welcome everyone, Eugene Hughes Motorized. I got a tip for you here. Now this tip is for those of you who are just cranking up a brand new engine, or you've rebuilt the top end here, or you're getting tired of blowing head gaskets here, okay? Well, these aluminum gaskets, some people uh, complain about them, but they're not that bad. They work pretty doggone good. I know some performance builders that, that still use them as well. I'm, I like them here. They're soft, okay? So you don't want to go torquing it down too hard. That's part of some of our problems here. You think, well, I don't want this thing to be blowing the gasket, so I'm going to crank it just as hard as I can. No, don't. That's adding to the problem here, okay? So you're breaking your engine in after a rebuild or brand new engine, whatever. After four or five warm-up cycles, you want to go and retorque the head. If nothing else, you want to make sure that they're all torqued evenly. I recommend while you're at it, ditch the acorn nuts, ditch the washers that you have on the head, and get you some of these Belleville spring washers, and get you some standard eight millimeter hex nuts, not the nylock nuts. You don't want it here in an application where it gets hot like this. The nylock nut isn't what you want, just a standard eight millimeter hex nut, and the Belleville washer again. So what is the Belleville washer? The Belleville washer is kind of a cone-shaped washer. De depends upon how you look at it. It's got a little ramp up. If you look at it one way, flip it over and it's got like a dish in it, okay? So what you'll do is after you've gone through four or five warm-up cycles here, pull the hardware off, put your Belleville washer on, put the cup side down. That means the pointy end up. One, two, three, four. Put your hex nuts on it. Then go ahead and crank it on down. I recommend you torque it to eight foot pounds of torque. Now, if you don't have a torque wrench, don't worry about it, okay? I know a lot of people say tor torque it to 12 foot pounds, but eight is all you need. These aluminum gaskets are, are pretty thin, they're pretty malleable, so you, you don't want to squish it all up there as they say okay so um, if you don't want to go with the Belleville washers after four or five warm-up cycles just make sure that each of your nuts on the head are evenly torqued down okay basically this has been my torque wrench for many many years I've stripped a lot of hardware too in my day, but in learning that, now I'm pretty good with this here, and I, I, can, I can do it by feel here. So come on, let me show you what you gotta do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the old hardware off, and if you're gonna reuse the, uh, the nuts that you have and you're not gonna get the Belleville washers, I guess you can pretty much skip this step here, huh? But uh, if you want, go ahead and check your head gasket if you've been blowing head gaskets. Pop you a new one on there. We're going to get rid of the old washers here in this video here. Like I said, if you want to keep it, not going to hurt my feelings. Let's go ahead and pop the head on. I'm going to be putting on the Belleville washers. Cup side down. That means the pointy side goes up, eh? Huh? All right. Okay, so what I'm doing here is obviously is putting the nuts on. And I'm going to crank them down by hand most of the way and then we'll use the torque wrench to set the final torque. We're doing it in a crisscross pattern. Uh, you definitely don't ever want to do this when the engine is warm. You only want to do it when the head is cold, room temperature, cool to the touch, okay? Alright, so each one of these are secure to eight foot-pounds of torque. Now I'm going to check it here by hand. Okay, that's getting it just a little bit more. So all you want to do is get it just good and snug like I'm doing right here. Just put your thumb there, that, and you're good to go. All right, so I hope I helped you out. Check the link down below for the goodies. I'll sell you some of the washers, five of the hex nuts, a head gasket, and a base gasket for, you know, for a cheap price there plus shipping. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe, check the notifications. I want to thank you for watching. Take care.